Orson Scott Card, an American author, in his book, Ender's Game, said, and I quote, The essence of training is to allow error without consequence, end of quote. For instance, who would you rather choose when going on a road trip? A driver who still has the learner sign or an experienced train driver who has been certified and licensed? Your guess is as good as mine. This is Naptip on the Move, and I am Imanalo KK. Glad to have you join us. The essence of training cannot be overemphasized as it is a major difference between an expert and a quack. On today's episode, we bring you the roles and activities of the Training and Manpower Development Department of NAPTIP. You will learn more if you stay with NAPTIP on the move. The Training and Manpower Development Department of NAPTIP was established by Section 11, Subsection 6 of the Trafficking in Persons Prohibition Enforcement and Administration Act to carry out the following duties. Initiate, develop or improve specific training programs for officers of the agency and relevant law enforcement officers charged with the responsibility for the prevention, detection, investigation, elimination, prosecution, rehabilitation of victims of trafficking and related activities. Collaborate with relevant law enforcement and security agencies and institutions for the purpose of providing training for law enforcement and security officers responsible for the investigation, detection, prevention, elimination of human trafficking and related offenses and the rehabilitation of victims of trafficking in persons and related unlawful activities and collaborate with, support and keep a register of non-governmental organizations involved in anti-human trafficking activities, especially in the area of training, workshop and seminars. To effectively implement its role, staff training is varied. Uh, we have a induction and orientation training. Induction and orientation training is meant for the new staff of the agency who are newly recruited and they need to be trained. They need to know the nitty gritty they need to be abreast what, what we do as an agency because it's not good to come to an organization and you don't know the vision statement, the mission statement, the core values of that organization. You will not be able to go far. So immediately officers are recruited, we encourage them to be trained and uh, we also have a basic training. We have a professional training. We have specialized training and we have what we call joint training. So our trainings are varied, they are ramified and they are done in a way that it suits the purpose and it meets the direct needs of those officers concerned. And so far, uh, since the inception of uh, Training and Manpower Development Department, cumulatively all these uh, basic and induction training orientation, specialized and uh, joint training, we have been able to train cumulatively. 2,708 officers so far, and we are still counting. Policy documents guide the operations of the department. From the creation of the department in 2011 up to the moment, we've been able to come up with a, a NAPTI trainer's guide uh, that guide our trainers on how to train other officers, on how to train relevant stakeholders 
and law enforcement agencies that work in collaboration with us. Uh, not only that, we also have a training curriculum. In addition to this, we have what we call training manual on trafficking in persons. Uh, this one is most especially for caregivers and investigators. Then uh, the training resource center at the Federal Secretariat, which at the moment serves as the stop gap for the training of our officers. So this is a center that we are operating with at the moment to meet the training needs of our officers. Pending the time, we will be able to come up with a macro training academy. So this is the training resource center guide for that developed with the support of German government. And we also have what we call a human trafficking training policy for law enforcement training institutions. And of course, we have a training policies. So these are some of the publications that we have. And uh, we are in the process of ensuring that we have also the standard of, of, of operating procedure for training and manpower development department. The need for continuous training cannot be overemphasized. At the inception of the agency, there was no training department. But along the line, we realized that training, the importance of training and manpower development cannot be overemphasized in any administrative endeavor. Training is very, very vital, it's very critical, it's very strategic. And uh, it is a situation of ensuring that the skills of our officers are chapping, their capacities are built, so that they be able to confront the modern day challenges of uh, the phenomenon of human trafficking. Because you agree with me that these traffickers, they don't sleep and they have moved from the analog to digital. They strategize every day. They come up with new innovations, new ideas, new concepts. So the more reason why uh, NAPTIP as an institution that is charged with the purpose of combating this crime has been adopting all known measures to ensure an holistic approach to combating the menace of human trafficking. The department relies on extensive collaborations to fulfill its mandate. Collaboration is at the base of our activities, not only in the department, but extension in the agency. Because we have always admitted that the task of uh, eliminating human trafficking in the, in the country is not a, a, a one-man task. It's not for one organization, and it's even not for one government. It is all of government, all of society assignment. This is why all has to be on deck. And that's why we have stakeholders forum. And uh, apart from that, we collaborate extensively with international bodies like uh, UNICEF. We collaborate with International Organization for Migration. We collaborate with the uh, United Nations Office of Drugs and Crimes. We co collaborate with International Labour Organization. We collaborate with Federal Minister of Women Affairs and Social Development. Virtually all MDAs that are relevant to our mandate, including the, uh, the foreign embassies in Nigeria. As a matter of fact, I can list up to 65 different bodies, either foreign or local, that we collaborate with and still can't. We even receive a lot of invitational training. As part of our collaborative, uh, that's a joint training, collaborative venture that we are doing, with uh, institutions and uh, international and local bodies. Recently, we struck a deal with Benin State University to train our trainers on master facilitators, what we call master facilitators course. So the whole essence of it is to ensure that uh, those trainers that we are trained in the agency are certified by a recognized institution of higher learning, in this case, a university and Benue State University comes handy in this situation. So the collaboration is extensive, and uh, as long as uh, the agency as a body collaborates with all these organizations I've mentioned, uh, training and manpower development department cannot be an exception. To ensure customized training and development of the agency's workforce, a regional training center is in the works. Before the creation of uh, Training and Manpower Development Department. The agency uh, 
uh, had been sending its officers on training uh, with other <coughs> sister law enforcement agencies that have uh, training institutions. But we discovered that most of these uh, trainings are not tailored towards the needs, the mission statement, the goals and the aspirations of the agency. And this is the reason why we are making a move at the moment to ensure that we have our own standard uh, training academy. The coming into office of the President Director General, Dame Julie Okadonli, where actually the idea of establishing an academy was mooted, but there was no administrative way to effect it. On assumption of duty, she made it a topmost priority. And uh, she set up a 29 member committee that called across all the departments and units in the agency to come up with a suitable plan to establishing a regional training academy that will conform with our ideas, with our thematic mandate, with our goals and aspirations. An institution that will be tailor made, that will suit the purpose of the agency. And uh, not only this, that will also be a service center to other Western uh, countries in the sub region who are looking up to Nigeria as a model. Being a paramilitary organization, NAPTIP officers are exposed to constant physical training. The essence of it is to not only develop our officers uh, intellectually, but to also physically build their capacity. To also, uh, to also ensure that uh, a, a sound mind should be located in a sound body. So it just, it just it, it, in keeping with the international best practices, in keeping in line with what obtains in other law enforcement uh, agencies. Uh, the parade itself is about instill, instilling paramilitary discipline in our officers. But the exercise more or less is like uh, for physical agility, mental alertness, because when you are physically agile, you are mentally alert. And uh, this kind of exercise uh, comes handy in ensuring that the officers of the agency are up to the task, they meet up with their mandate, with their assigned duties and responsibilities. So as a law enforcement agent, it is expected of us that we should be not only physically fit, but mentally alert. Constant training and retraining of staff is not without its challenges. Let me start with uh, the issue of uh, office space. We are constrained. At the moment, we operate with very, very few staff. Then uh, we also have challenge of uh, logistics, in most cases, occasioned by uh, uh, financial uh, problem. But I believe that uh, we are trying to adjust and to ensure that we use what we have to get what we want. The Training and Manpower Development Department is living up to expectation in ensuring that NAPTIP staff are trained and ready to curb instances of human trafficking. Human trafficking is one of the worst crimes on earth. It is a grave violation of your human rights. The victims of human trafficking are majorly women, youths, children and men who may never live to tell the story. These victims could be your wife, daughter, mother, sister, brother, child or relative. No one deserves to be trafficked. NAPTIP has intensified its effort against this heinous crime. But we need your support. We need you to join this fight. Government officials, corporate organizations, traditional rulers, religious leaders, and the organized private sector have enlisted in this fight. What are you waiting for? Join NAPTIP to end this global moral epidemic now. Report cases of human trafficking to these NAPTIP hotlines 0703 00 0203 080 02 NAPTIP empowered to protect you. I hope you learned something new. As you can see, NAPTIP officials are not only mentally alert, but they are physically fit to fight the crime of human trafficking. NAPTIP events is next. Stay with us.
Officials of the United Kingdom National Crime Agency, NCA, led by Steve Reynolds, recently visited the agency's headquarters in Abuja. We are, our, both of our citizens, the citizens of Nigeria and the UK, um, are both threatened by these, uh, these crimes in different ways. But I think it's really important that we, we recognise the threat that, that, they, that these crimes pose to our, our citizens and we strive to tackle them together. We have an extremely close collaboration together and have done for, for many years now and uh, we really value that. I'm familiar with the results that we get as a result of that uh, collaboration on a weekly basis. Something that is of always of great interest to us is the, uh, the returns program and the victims of trafficking program that I know that we've uh, played a small part in helping with and so far that has been responsible for safeguarding hundreds of potential victims of trafficking over the years and that is an incredibly worthwhile and, and somewhat unique program. He also spoke on the need to deepen collaborations with NAPTU. I'm extremely um, grateful for the, uh, for the trust that you place in the NCA to have that extremely privileged position that, that we do have in, that, in our close partnership and we strive to, to earn that trust on a daily basis. So I'm here really to renew that commitment to see firsthand some of the things that we're doing and to uh, both thank you for the collaboration that we have together to get an idea how you see the threats that, uh, that, that are facing Nigeria in this area right now and how we can deepen um, that relationship if there's anything that we can do to make it even stronger and collaborate even, even more deeply to tackle these, uh, these common threats. Welcoming the delegation, the Director General of NAPTIP, Dangeli Okadandi, commended the NCA and sought closer relations. You've done so much for us in terms of capacity building, even though we can do more, yeah. you know, and um, um, in the areas of information exchange, intelligence sharing, intelligence analysis and all that, we can still do it more. Um, exchange programs on your side and our side as well is a welcome um, development, joint investigations, we want to see more of that happening and um, the mutual legal assistance as well. We are open, our legal team is always willing and ready to share and work with your legal team. Then, of course, you know, in the area of victim care and support, that is one area that um, I'm not very particularly happy about. Um, you know, after rehabilitating, they also need to be empowered um, before they are reintegrated back into the society. Um, I was thinking of a more um, meaningful kind of empowerment in the sense that I've seen situations where some of our partners, you know, um, you know, train them, skills acquisition training and all of that. And after the training, they give them the tools. For example, someone has learned how to sew and they are given the sewing machines, which is a very good thing. But the question is, if you give them the sewing machines, where are they going to be sewing? Most of them don't even have comfortable homes. So I'm looking at a situation where, yes, give them the sewing machines, but at the same time, rent a new shop where they can actually work and even employ others. So it's a total package. She also called for support to sensitize the grassroots. Our major um, project is that of awareness. Most of these people come from the rural areas and um, they are not informed. And so if we, if, we, if we take these sensitization programs to their communities and we're able to sensitize them and the families, the mothers, the fathers, they will begin to understand you know, what this human trafficking business is all about. And they will be more wary of those who come and offer them jobs and lie to them and all of that. But in the cities, they don't go to the cities, they go to the villages, the rural communities to get them. So that's our target, our main focus. So we're looking at short, you know, um, um, documentaries that we will actually <coughs> take to those communities target and, yeah, the right and target the right people and, and, and play them on large sc um, screens in the market square everywhere so they can see, they can see actual pictures of what is really going on and what is happening to those who are going away. 
and we're looking at billboards as well to be put in strategic locations with our numbers just in case you may have a rethink if you're going towards the airport and you're thinking you're battling within yourself am i am i going to be trafficked you have the numbers you can quickly call and of course this requires a lot of funding these are the projects we want to do so anywhere you think you can be of help then you can ask us and we'll tell you where and where you can help us responding to the issues raised Steve Reynolds pledged his organization's resolve to burst human trafficking rings in the UK. He also promised to support training, engage the High Commission in effective communication strategies and offered technical assistance. Alan Pamplin of the United Kingdom High Commission commended NAPTIP for his media campaigns and underscored the importance of NAPTIP offices at all ports of entry in Nigeria. The courtesy visit, which was geared towards strengthening collaboration between both agencies, also had Vanessa Fleming of the United Kingdom High Commission in attendance. As part of its strategy to prevent human trafficking, officers of the Public Enlightenment Department of NAPTEP, led by its director, Arinze Orakwe, recently visited the National Youth Service Orientation Camp in Abuja to sensitize the youth coppers. When people come to make promises to you, please check. Migration is your right. Look at the number of Nigerians wasting away in, in Libya. It has taken the intervention of federal government to go and bring them back from Libya. How much money that could have been deployed in other ways, other investment, than that now we are using it to bring them back. Many of them have died. Many are still dying. All in the field because they want to go to... How many of you here want to go to Europe? Who told you that Europe is good? Who told you that the streets of Europe are laid with gold and diamonds? The amount of time you invest trying to go there, but I've been better employed for staying here. Don't listen to them. Run as fast as God has in the ground. Run as fast as your legs can carry you. Promises made are not promises delivered. Ebele Ulasi, Deputy Director, Public Enlightenment Department, then inducted the youth coppers as NAPTIP ambassadors. I am taking you through an induction to become NAPTIP's ambassador. You know why? We need you when you go to your various places of primary assignment to create awareness of human trafficking. You might not be trafficked because you are noble ladies and gentlemen. But in some of those villages where you go to for your primary assignment, people are vulnerable. At the count of three, I want you to raise whatever you have and shout a very big no to human trafficking. No! The sensitization of youths and young children is of paramount importance to NAPTIP as they are mostly at risk of being trafficked. The Director General of NAPTIP, Dengeli Okadonli, was recently honored in London with an award of excellence by Nigerians in diaspora under the auspices of the Global Enterprise Group. The award which was presented by Emmanuel Nama, the Minister of Welfare and Consular Affairs, Nigerian High Commission, is in recognition of our efforts in the global fight against human trafficking. For more inquiries and support, or to report cases of suspected human trafficking and child abuse, please call NAPTIV hotlines on 0703-0000203 or 0800-2255-627847. Or email info at naptip.gov.ng. Visit our website www.naptip.gov.ng. Follow us on our social media platforms at Naptip Nigeria and watch our videos on YouTube. We've come to the end of today's episode, but not without a plea to you. Please support Naptip in the fight against human trafficking, child abuse, and domestic violence by reporting to the numbers on the screen. Your voice is the key, so use it. It's like come your way next week. Be your brother's keeper. Do not suffer in silence and do not look away. Naptip is here for you. I am Imanolo Keke and I must thank you for watching. Goodbye.